officials admit that they don't really know what they're dealing with, that they don't have an inventory of chemicals that were being stocked in that warehouse when it exploded. So they've got no idea of what deadly cocktail of toxins may be there. Now, today as well, there were reports of fresh explosions, more fires. What appears to have happened, though, is a number of cars burst into flames rather than a fresh chemical explosion, which would have been uh, more worrying. One bit of good news, a 56-year-old man was found alive inside one of the charred remains of a shipping container. Now, he's said to be serious but still alive. He has respiratory tract burns and clearly that is in encouraging for those still looking for missing relatives who include many firefighters. Their relatives today stormed into a government press conference demanding answers to that and also the bigger question of why this warehouse stacked with hazardous chemicals was allowed to be built, was allowed to exist so close to a residential area. Ian Williams, NBC News, Beijing.